Hey everyone, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and uh, today we're going to do a uh, tutorial on how to write long-form content using Closers Copy and Niche together. Um, so this is something that people talk about a lot. I know that Niche is getting a uh, long-form editor soon. I don't think it's in yet. Um, but uh, I, I've been using this on occasion uh, and since I figured it out and I figured I would share it uh, today. So basically I've got a new uh, closers copy document right here and uh, then I've got niche open as well. And uh, so I'm gonna go into blog tools because what I'm gonna write today is a piece of long form content. I'm gonna aim for a 1000 word uh, blog post. So come in here and we'll go, uh, do I want a listicle? I always forget exactly what a listicle is. Um, I'll take outline, I'll take intro and listicle style post titles. Um, I'll take all of them. Why not? Can I take all of them? Yeah. Okay. Uh, lover fighter writer blog category is going to be affiliate marketing. The topic is going to be affiliate marketing tips. And I think uh, for the title we'll go with for now, because I'm going to generate some other titles, but we'll say best affiliate marketing tips for beginners and generate. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, it's because my hair is ridiculous and I really need to cut it. So ready to be able to not have to cut my own hair. Okay. So these are my listicle items. These are my post titles. That's pretty good. Seven affiliate marketing tips I wish I knew when I started out. Affiliate marketing tips for beginners, a guide to earning more money. That's also pretty good. I think I'm gonna go with this one. So we'll use this as our title. Um, and and so the main, uh, the main, uh, you can, I hope you'll, you'll watch the whole video because there is going to be uh, value in, in kind of the whole process that I go through. But basically what I use, what I do is I use niche for, uh, most of my kind of starter, uh, inputs and outputs. So now that once you have, uh, like, I mean, cause I, I just generated all this content, right? All this content with niche. So all that came from one, one little input basically. And uh, now I can repurpose all of this content into more inputs to get more other outputs. Um, and, but, and so you might be wondering what I'm gonna use Closer Copy for other than the word processor. Well, I'm gonna use it um, for its expand feature. So let's see what happens if I do this. So if you highlight and right click, you can you can use shorten or expand or rephrase. I think shorten is still in development. Yeah, it's in beta. Um, but if you use expand or rephrase, then it expands and or rephrases for you. If you're about to start the world in the if you're about to start your journey in the world of affiliate marketing, it's Make money online, UK form to find what you're getting yourself into. Well, that started off pretty good. So I'm just gonna get rid of that, highlight this, and uh, expand it. Get rid of very quickly. Pull this back here. Then you'll realize that. Two major factors tend to get 
in your way. Or no, because I'm doing seven tips. If you're about to start your journey in the world of affiliate marketing, then you'll realize that seven major factors can make or break your path. Try expanding on that. Okay, that's uh, not relevant right now, but it'll be good for later. Just put that down there. And we'll go back to Nice and grab some more of this stuff. Um, so basically, uh, I can use this for inputs in Niche, but I can also use it for inputs in the expand feature and the rephrase feature uh, in Closer's copy. And I've been having a lot of luck with the uh, with the expand and rephrase, uh, getting some pretty good outputs from it. So hopefully that holds true as I'm doing it uh, in a live recording. Affiliate network. That's pretty good. Probably change that a little bit, but. The purpose here is to get to, I've actually got down in the bottom corner, uh, a word counter, so it's 110 words right now. I'm trying to try and get this to a thousand words uh, in maybe 10 to 15 minutes uh, without rushing, and then I will edit it uh, off camera because the editing part is just me editing and that's boring. Affiliate marketing is a great way to earn money online. It allows you to earn money by promoting other companies' product. Okay, this is really good stuff too. I think it can actually go first. Blog post will help you break down. Getting started with affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is a good way to. These are not tips, unfortunately. Choose a good niche. Find a good. Okay, these look okay. Um, okay, so I'm just going to add. So we've got four, then five is going to be get good at sales. And then this will make sense after that. <laughs> so this is, it's definitely going to need some editing to cut this all together, but let's see. So if you're about to start your journey in the world of affiliate marketing, then you'll realize that seven major factors can make or break your path. Affiliate marketing is a great way to earn money online. It also allows you to earn money by promoting other companies' products. In this post, I will give you the best affiliate marketing tips for beginners. This will help you to understand all the basic things that you should know before you start affiliate marketing. Most affiliate marketers choose to promote products in Amazon rather than other affiliate networks for reasons of convenience. The reason is because Amazon is an online mall. It's a one-stop shop for everything. Amazon is the largest internet retailer in the world and considered the biggest affiliate network. And then, so these will be the tips. I'll improve that heading later. Choose a niche. Expand, please. All right, that's not bad. We're up to 250 words almost. Find a good niche related product to promote. Could you expand on that a little bit for me? Artificial intelligence robot? What is all this fault in our stars stuff? I don't understand what it is. I've never heard of that, whatever it is. Let's try one more time. Come on, big money. Find a good niche related product. That's pretty good. Except for the fault in our stars part.
ClickBank easily shows the popularity of a product uh, on their the on their gravity rating system. I think that's what that's talking about. Make sure the product is not already saturated. Could you uh, possibly expand on this for me? <laughs> Lightly spray the service. Okay, I think this AI is getting tired, so maybe we should go back to niche a little bit. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make some more blog posts out of it. Blog post intros. Try that one more time. Um, regenerate. Make sure the product is not already saturated. Affiliate marketing is great, but sometimes you find yourself stuck. You have a product and you are trying to market it. Da, da, da. There's already actually demand for it. Okay, this is looking good. You do not want to take the risk of promoting product that's already saturated in the market. And the next thing, is side away from a physical product or digital one. I might edit that. Well, obviously, I'm going to edit it. I'm going to edit all of it because it's all just rough stuff, but mm, it's pretty good. And make sure that the product you promote is something you believe in. Could you possibly tell me what you mean by that? Oh my gosh, why is it always the fault into my stars? Closer's copy is definitely getting tired. Let's try, sometimes this works. Sometimes rephrase works basically the same way as expand. Don't just write a uh, Boring old blog post. Write the best blog post on the internet. Some solid SEO advice for you. Don't write any old blog post. Write the best blog post. And get good at sales. There are four big questions your prospect has to ask you. Must be able to answer them to get them to buy from you. Okay, what do I want? I want the listicle tool, listicle items, yes. Questions to ask your sales prospects. Maybe I can even make it more specific than that. Four questions to ask your sales prospects. This will be interesting. Four questions to ask your sales prospects. How to find your target audience, that's not a question. This is not bad, it needs some, some tender loving care, but it's uh, not terrible. All right, so we're up to 450 words. And it's over 15 minutes, ah, I didn't make it. All right, but uh, so I got to, I don't want this video to go super long, so I'm not gonna show me editing it or show me continuing to write a whole bunch more content. But that is almost 500 words in 15 minutes. And I spent about five minutes of that probably just rattling on for no reason um, and not really working on it. So I'd say that you can get about 500 words per 10 to 15 minutes of work with these two tools. Um, and I mean, that's, uh, that's not anything monumental. I can write that fast. Um, but, you know, if uh, on days that I don't feel like typing, uh, I actually get repetitive motion injuries uh, when I type too much. So sometimes I really don't feel like typing. 
and uh, sometimes I just uh, I, I do voice typing sometimes, but a lot of the time it just doesn't really work for me. Uh, so this is a really good alternative for that. Um, also a good alternative if you just don't like writing, right? Um, so uh, check out these two products. I'm going to have links down in the description. And uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one. All right. Take care.